If the color used in the video is different from the material package you received, please refer to the material package you received. Our video is only for clearly demonstrating specific stitches. Today, let's crochet a spherical chick. Next, I will show you the specific crochet method. First, let's crochet the body part. For this part, we will use orange yarn. First, we work into a magic ring, and I will demonstrate the method of working into a magic ring. Hold the end of the yarn, wrap the yarn around your pinky, pass it over your index finger, then wrap it around your middle finger, and hold the crossing point with your thumb. Insert the crochet hook into the loop, hook the yarn and pull it through. Now our magic ring is ready. Next, we begin crocheting. The first round consists of six single crochet stitches, totaling six stitches by the end of this round. Now, let me demonstrate. Start with one chain stitch. Wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and pull it through the loop on the hook, completing one chain stitch. Then begin crocheting single crochet stitches. Insert the crochet hook into the loop, hook the yarn and pull it through. At this point, there are two loops on the crochet hook. Wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and pull it through both loops in one go. That completes one single crochet stitch. Attach a stitch marker at the first stitch. And please note that the first stitch of each round should be marked with a stitch marker. Let me demonstrate another single crochet stitch. and please complete the rest on your own. After finishing crocheting, remove your finger and tighten the loop. Remove the stitch marker. And perform a slip stitch. Insert the crochet hook into the stitch marked by the stitch marker. Wrap the yarn and pull it directly through all the loops on the crochet hook. That completes a slip stitch. We have also finished the first round. Next, let's crochet the second round. The second round consists of six single crochet increases, which means crocheting two single crochet stitches into each stitch, totaling 12 stitches by the end of this round. Let me show you. Start with one chain stitch. In the first stitch, crochet one single crochet stitch. And in the same stitch, crochet another single crochet stitch. That completes a single crochet increase. Let me show you another. and please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch, and this round is completed. Next, we crochet the third round. The third round consists of one single crochet stitch and one single crochet increase per group, crocheting a total of six groups, ending with 18 stitches in this round. Let me demonstrate. Start with one chain stitch. Then crochet one single crochet stitch. Followed by a single crochet increase. That completes one group. Let me show you another group.
and please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And this round is completed. Next, we crochet the fourth round. The fourth round consists of one single crochet stitch, one single crochet increase, and another single crochet stitch per group, crocheting a total of six groups, ending with 24 stitches in this round. Let me show you. Start with one chain stitch. Then crochet one single crochet stitch. One single crochet increase. And another single crochet stitch. That completes one group. Let me show you another group. And please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Perform a slip stitch. And this round is completed. Next, we crochet the fifth round. The fifth round consists of three single crochet stitches and one single crochet increase per group, crocheting a total of six groups, ending with 30 stitches in this round. Let me demonstrate. Start with one chain stitch. Then crochet three single crochet stitches. Followed by a single crochet increase. That completes one group. Let me show you another group. And please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Perform a slip stitch. And this round is completed. Next, we crochet the sixth round. The sixth round consists of two single crochet stitches, one single crochet increase, and two more single crochet stitches per group, crocheting a total of six groups ending with 36 stitches in this round. Let me demonstrate. Start with one chain stitch. Then crochet two single crochet stitches. One single crochet increase. and two more single crochet stitches. That completes one group. Let me show you another group. and please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Perform a slip stitch. And this round is completed. Next, we crochet the seventh round. The seventh round consists of five single crochet stitches 
and one single crochet increase per group, crocheting a total of six groups, ending with 42 stitches in this round. Let me show you. Start with one chain stitch. Then crochet five single crochet stitches. followed by a single crochet increase. That completes one group. Let me show you another group. and please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker, perform a slip stitch, and this round is completed. Next, we crochet the eighth round. The eighth round consists of three single crochet stitches, one single crochet increase, and three more single crochet stitches per group, crocheting a total of six groups, ending with 48 stitches in this round. Let me show you. Start with one chain stitch. Then crochet three single crochet stitches. A single crochet increase. and three more single crochet stitches. That completes one group. Let me show you another group. and please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker, perform a slip stitch, and this round is completed. Next, we crochet rounds 9 to 11. Rounds 9 to 11 each consist of 48 single crochet stitches without any increases or decreases, ending each round with 48 stitches. Let me show you. Start with one chain stitch, then crochet the first single crochet stitch, the second single crochet stitch, and please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker, perform a slip stitch. and these three rounds are completed.